So the following is an introduction to using units in Python. There's lots of units packages available. You can see a few here at uh, the link. And then the pint package is the one that we're going to talk about uh, in this video. Uh, the website gives installation instructions. It's not available by default in Anaconda right now, but you can get it pretty easily by opening an Anaconda prompt and typing conda install-c conda-forge pint, and then following the prompts. So here's a quick summary. We add units to variables using a multiplication symbol times u.m, where m is meters or some other unit. And there's two parts. l.magnitude gives the number part. l.units gives the units part. And we can convert units with l.2, and then uh, the units that we want. l.i2, so this won't change l. Uh, i2 will change l, and base units. And to be careful of temperature units. And finally, there's a big list of units that are available <coughs> on the pint documentation. So you can see that there. So that's a quick summary. Let's go into some of the details. The first thing to do is to import pint and then get the units. U equals pint.unit registry. I use U so that I don't have to type long series of uh, <coughs> text every time I want to use the units. So to create a variable L, in units of 5 meters, I just do L equals 5 times U dot M, T equals 2 times U dot seconds, and then once I have these two variables, 5 meters and 2 seconds, I can create a new variable V equals L over T, and Pint will automatically create this variable by combining the units of L and T, so V will be velocity in meters per second. <clears throat> and if we print it, print L, print T, print V, we get 5 meter two seconds and 2.5 meters a second and you can see what the pint output looks like by default. Again, uh, a variable with units has two parts, the magnitude, L dot magnitude, and the units, L dot units, so five and meter. <clears throat> we can convert units to something else using the two function, so V in miles per hour equals V dot two, and then in parentheses the unit we're converting to, U dot miles per hour, so this converts V to miles per hour and returns the result, which we store as V miles per hour, but it doesn't change V itself. If you want to um, change V itself, then you'll use the I2 function. So miles per hour, and then here's a version in feet per second, V.2, U.feet divided by U.second. And when you print these, you get the answer in miles per hour and the answer in foot per second. So if we print the current value of V, it's still meters per second. Now if we go V dot I2, so it's still meters per second even after calling the two function. That is, the two function doesn't, doesn't change the variable itself. If we use I2, V dot I2 feet per second, then when we print V, now it's in feet per second. So V dot 2, V dot I2, as in N2. Units are converted automatically, so if I have L1 is 5 meters and L2 is 7 feet, then when I add these two together, Pint automatically does the unit conversion, and it's going to default. The units of the result will be defaulted to whichever one comes first. So L1 is in meters, so when we do L1 plus L2, we get the result in meters. L2 is in feet, so when L2 comes first, we get the result in feet. Very nice. So let's look at the ideal gas law with mixed unit conversion. So compute density is mean molecular weight times pressure over gas constant over T. So the mean molecular weight is 29 kilograms per kilomole. Pressure is one atmosphere. Temperature is 600 Kelvin. And here's a gas constant in units of liter torr per mole Kelvin. So these are not consistent units by themselves. And there need to be unit conversions in order to evaluate the density. When we evaluate rho equals mp over rt, pint automatically does the correct unit conversion, stores the result in rho. And when we print rho, we get some value with a very nasty expression. So supposedly this has units of density, but it's not very useful to us. So we can get something more human readable if we call the rho.2 base units function, and that will give us kilograms per meter cubed. Base units are going to be SI in this case. 
or if we want the density in something else we can go row dot two and specify the units in this case pounds per foot cubed Python's pretty smart BTU, BTU, and BTU, these are all the same thing, and it's able to figure it out, so you don't have to just, you can pretty much guess, and it'll be right. U.pound is the same as U.pound. U.m is the same as U.meter. K.m is the same as kilometer. K is the same as degree K. But notice that for Rankine, Fahrenheit, and Celsius, you need degree, deg, R, deg, F, deg, C, not R, F, and C. Uh, N and Newton are the same, force underscore pound and LBF are the same, and again you can go through and check the various units. Uh, when it comes to temperature, the best thing is just work with an absolute temperature scale and be done with it. Convert your values to Kelvin or Rankine and then use values in Kelvin or Rankine. There's all kinds of problems if you try to use uh, Fahrenheit and, do, and Celsius due to the uh, <clears throat> non-zero offset. And that's it. So there's a summary of Pint. It's a great package. It's easy to use and uh, does a lot of convenient unit conversions.